Ruby Tandoa's recipe for buttermilk panna cotta with apricots butter is the savior of so many ingredients, even tinned fruit there's not much that can't be salvaged with butter. Here, it's tinned apricots, thrown into a hot pan until they begin to char, then glazed with molten butter and maple syrup. Served with a tangy, silken buttermilk panna cotta, these precious little orbs are enough single-handedly to salvage the reputation of untrendy tinned fruit. You can replace the apricots with pears or even pineapple, if that's what you've got lurking at the back of the cupboard. Just treat them with respect. And butter. Buttermilk panna cotta with apricots prep 15 minutes chilling 2 to 3 hrs serves 4 2 to 4 gelatin leaves or vegetarian gelatin, gelatin varies in strength, so use enough to set a half pint of liquid, 285 ml, according to the packet, you want a soft set for this panna cotta. 150 ml double cream 300 ml buttermilk 100 grams castor sugar 2 tablespoon lemon juice 1 x 400 grams tin apricot halves in light syrup 25 grams butter 2 tablespoon maple syrup 2 tablespoon toasted flaked almonds to serve optional cut the gelatin into pieces and put in a bowl of cold water leave for 5 minutes during which time they'll transform from brittle shards to soft slippery slivers Drain the gelatin, squeeze out any excess water, then put in a small pan with the cream. Set over a low heat, and stir continuously until the very first bubbles just start rising to the surface. Immediately turn off the heat, add the buttermilk, sugar, and lemon juice, and whisk until smooth. Taste for sweetness and acidity, adding a little extra sugar or lemon accordingly. Divide the mixture between four lightly greased ramekins or individual pudding basins, then put in the fridge to cool and set for two to three hours. Just before you are ready to serve, drain the apricots and pat dry with kitchen towel. Heat a non-stick frying pan or griddle on a medium-high flame and, once hot, lay in the apricot halves cut side down, if using a griddle, brush the fruit with a little oil first. Leave to color and char for a minute or so then flip over and cook for a minute more. Add the butter and maple syrup, then swirl around the pan to coat the apricot in the rich syrup. To unmold the panna cottas, dip the ramekins in hot water for 20 to 30 seconds, then carefully flip out onto a plate. Serve the cool, quivering cream with the hot apricots, scattering over a few toasted flaked almonds for crunch, if you wish.